Hey, third grade, it's Miss English. Uh, I want to talk to you this week about character choices. In week one, you saw a short video with me where we discussed character choices and the way that a character's choices will impact or change the path that the character is on. And I want to talk to you today a little bit. I just want you to start to think about why that would matter. Uh, so let's talk about choices. My favorite book series, Harry Potter, has a character named Albus Dumbledore. And he says something that I've always kept as sort of a rule in life. He says that it is your choices far more than your abilities that determine who you are. And though he says it a little bit differently than that, what he's really saying is that it doesn't matter what you're capable of, what abilities you have or strengths, if you never use them, the choices, or if you use them the wrong way, the choices that you make really determine who you are and what's going to happen in your own life. This is important in the real world and it's important or it's displayed and shown to us in books that we read. Because you and I both know that we read books to learn life lessons that we can use in our own world. So when you think about choices, I want you to understand that choices, it's what happens when you make them that makes them good or bad. For example, in the story with Jeremy or with Reuben, when he picks up money off of the floor, that is not good or bad. I would pick up money if I dropped it and so would you. I would pick it up if someone else dropped it. It's the fact that when he kept that money, it made it so that the woman was without what she needed and caused her to struggle. That made it bad. And it led to a lot of difficulties. We didn't get to see the struggle that she had because of his choice, but we got to see some of the struggle that he faced because of that choice. And when Jeremy gave the woman money, that's not something that you and I would often do, especially $100. You would not walk up to someone and just give them a hundred dollars. That choice is not either good or bad. It's what would happen because he made it that makes it good or bad. You see, when he gave her the money, he gave her the opportunity or the choice, the, the chance again to pay her bills and not to struggle. And he also lost his opportunity to buy a bike. And you and I, we make judgments about these choices based on what happens as a result because he made that choice and he made her life better, we decide that, you know, it was hers to begin with and that's the right thing to do. And even though you're struggling a little bit, you would have struggled worse if you had kept it. And it's these kind of thoughts or contemplations that when you and I consider what someone's choices are and what happens when they make it, we can see the impact or the change it has in their journey on their path. So great readers need to know how to figure out when a character is facing a choice and noticing when a character's choices impact or change or push forward the path that they're on. So I want to show you how to do this work today. We're going to revisit a text that we already read, um, Jeremy and those shoes. And we're going to see when Jeremy is facing difficult choices. We're going to watch him struggle and we're going to watch the choice that he makes. And we're going to describe the impact that that has on his path. Today we have a little bit of a different set of success criteria. Let me show you. I'm going to break up all of this work um, into three days worth of work. So the work that you do today is going to be very important for Wednesday's work and very important for Friday's work. And you're going to want to hold it all together. Keep your notes, keep your charts together, and make sure that you reread them as you watch these lessons over and over again. Um, so that the work that you do is stronger each time you do it. Give me just a moment as I switch our views here. I want you to see my screen for a moment. Okay, so let's switch our view. And let's start with our success criteria today, the work that we will be doing. Today, our standard is RL 2.6, and the essential question that we're going to be answering is how do readers determine the impact a character's choices have on the path that they are on. We have two jobs to do today. These two jobs will be the start of our work for the week and we will add to them each time we meet until Friday's work when we put it all together. So remember it, save it, and come back to it if you need to remember or to, or to practice some more. Um, success criteria number one, notice when the character faces an important choice. Readers have to be good at this work. 
especially if they're going to be able to notice the impact a choice has. Step two, notice what choice the character makes. So today, the work we're going to do is just noticing when a character faces difficult choices and what they choose to do as a result. And I've given you some examples uh, down here for you to read. I'm not going to read them to you today because we're going to do this work together and I'll be giving you an additional example. Um, so let's take a look then at the anchor chart that we have. I'm going to pop the view back to me. I'm going to try to. There we go. So I gave you this anchor chart um, on week one and it's saved in the file for today's work. Here's our LEQ. How does a character's choices impact the path that they're on? Okay, that makes sense. It's what we just saw. And I told you already in my example to you today, and I've given you some examples um, with the characters and the stories that we read, that characters face important choices. People face important choices. And what they choose to do controls what happens next in a story. Um, so our three steps, and really we're just focusing today on step one and step two. Notice the important moments when a character must choose how to act or respond. And then notice what they do or how they act in response to this choice. We'll revisit this anchor chart again on day two and day three of our reading lessons. So I'm going to stop there for now. And I'm going to open up a book that we've all read where we can kind of zoom in to one choice a character faces. Now characters, just like you and I, face lots of choices. In, uh, throughout their story, throughout their journey. You're going to be collecting more than just one. But today, for our sake, we're going to look at one very closely and figure out what, um, what choice do they have to make? What do they choose? So let's go ahead and look here at Those Shoes by Mayor Beth Bolts. You recall this story from week two. We're going to come down here to the moment when Jeremy has to decide what do I do with those shoes? I think I'm going to come to this part right here. One day during math. Let me make this larger for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not that large. Well, this is not that small. Computers are fun, don't you guys think? We are getting smarter every day having to work on these things. Okay, one day during math. Here we go. One day during math, I glance at Antonio's shoes. One of them is taped up, and his feet look smaller than mine. After school, I head to the park to think. Okay, so I, if you're thinking about something, you're maybe trying to decide how you feel about it and what you want to do about it. So I am doing step one. I am noticing the important moments when a character must choose what to do. We're getting there. Antonio is there. The only kid who didn't laugh at my Mr. Alfrey's shoes. We shoot baskets. A loose piece of tape on Antonio's shoes smacks the concrete every time he jumps. I think. I'm not going to do it. Did you notice that? Does it sound to you like he is coming to a choice? He's arguing about not doing something. And choices are things that we either do or don't do. So, there we go. We're noticing the important moments when a character has to choose. We leap off the swings. I'm not going to do it. And I hope you're noticing that it's a struggle. Important choices usually are a struggle. We usually can see both or more options at the same time, and we're trying to decide which one is the right one, which one's going to work out the best. We race from the other end of the playground to the other. Oh, for, excuse me, we race from one end of the playground to the other. I'm not going to do it, I say. Do what? Antonio says, breathing hard. Grandma calls me for supper and invites Antonio over too. After supper, he spies my shoes. How come you don't wear them? Antonio asks. I shrug. My hands are sweaty. 
I can feel him wishing those shoes were his. That night, I am awake for a long time thinking about Antonio. Okay. I'm noticing what the character, that the character is facing a choice because of how much thinking and struggling he's doing. And that might even belong on our anchor chart. When a character is thinking and struggling over a choice, it would help us notice that they're facing the choice. So let's add this to our anchor chart. And then we're going to read on to see exactly what he does. All right, so on this anchor chart, it looks a lot like the anchor chart I gave you guys on week one. There's some writing on mine, but you're going to see a copy of this there where we start with our important moment and then go on to the character's choice, the actual choice they make, and then finally to the impact. It leads us to some questions that will help us do our writing on Friday. And I've included a blank copy of this for you in um, the resource folder on the bottom of each day's lesson. But let's take a look at the note I added based on the work we just did. I'm going to try and get this as close as possible for you so that you can read it. It says, all right, well, he, at this important moment when there is a choice to be made, what's the choice that he has to make? And I wrote it right here. Should he give his favorite shoes to Antonio, who needs them more? Yes or no? And now we have to read to see, okay, well, what does he decide to do? Because that is your step. Step one and two of success criteria today is that you can notice when a character is struggling and facing a choice. And you can notice the response that the character makes. What choice do they choose? What decision do they make? Go back to our text. And it's your job now. Find it. I'll read. You notice it. Jot it down. I'll reread. That night I am awake for a long time thinking about Antonio. When morning comes, I try on my shoes one last time. Before I can change my mind, the shoes are in my coat. Snow is beginning to fall as I run across the street to Antonio's apartment. I put the shoes in front of his door, push the doorbell, and run. You heard a choice that he had to make. He was thinking about it. He was struggling over it. We wrote it down. Your job is to decide right now what did he choose. And we know what character chooses based on the actions that they take. This is their response. This is their choice. Look for it. Add it. Okay, I hope you found it there. I hope you noticed that the actions that he took, hiding them under his coat, running across the street, putting the shoes in front of his door, pushing a doorbell and running are all actions and they show us exactly what he decided to do when he struggled over whether or not he should share those shoes or I mean give those shoes away. So take a look at this anchor chart here. I wrote this response here. I'll try and zoom in a bit. All right, the character's decision. He ran across the street and put the new shoes by Antonio's door before running off. So now let's take a look and see, are, have we been successful today? We're going to take a look at the success criteria that I outlined for you in the beginning of this. Notice when the character faces an important choice, and I'm going to put in here that this is usually a struggle. And notice what choice the character makes. This is usually some action that they take. And you can look down here and see that I did the same work with Jeremy and Antonio that we just did together. I rewrote it here for you. So I need you using your resources and I need you going step by step and doing this work. Now I want you to understand that this is very important work and I need all of your thoughts and proof that you work the hardest that you can. And so do all of your teachers. So if the work is not your very best and we can see that you didn't use the learning that you had from this video and the resources that I've given you in these lessons, then we're going to ask you to do them again. So don't waste your time. Make the right choice because it's going to lead to your learning and a really good feeling inside of being powerful and achieving what you set your mind to achieve. I'm very proud of you scholars and I can't wait to see your responses. It's work.